After practice on the banks of the Severn River with Kamari Williams, senior wide receiver for the midshipmen, and what a journey it has been for you. How satisfying is it being a senior and a starter now at wide receiver? Um, it's definitely been a satisfying journey. Um, I was talking to my friends the other day. Um, you kind of just got to stay the course. The transfer portal is like a very prominent thing in college football, but I've kind of waited my turn. I played behind a lot of good players here, a lot of good receivers, Michael Cooper, Marcel Glee, and Mark Walker. I kind of waited my turn, and now it's my turn to start here, and I'm very uh, grateful to be able to start. And the great thing that Kamari has done is take advantage of playing on special teams that means so much and really helps you earn that starting job. Yes, sir. Uh, special teams can flip games. A lot of people kind of just put special teams by the wayside, but uh, here at the Naval Academy, we take a lot of pride in our special teams. So and me as a player I've taken a lot of pride in special teams so I've kind of put a lot of work into that and it's paid off for me. A lot of moments for a midshipman on the yard one of those moments at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium the first game of the season the home opener you get your first catch of your career and your first touchdown. Yeah, uh, definitely a great moment. I'm really grateful to Ty uh, to give me the ball. Ty and the O-line, uh, they held up very well, and then I just had to get in the box uh, right before halftime. A great moment. I had my family in the stands for that moment. Uh, I was really excited, really happy. And really physical. You made that catch, and you carried that defender into the end zone. Yes, sir. Uh, that's kind of my game. I like to play a real physical game. I'm, I'm weighing about 220 pounds right now, and that's something Coach Yo puts a lot of emphasis on, is me just imposing my will on players on the, on the opposite team, and uh, that's what I try to do on Saturdays. And I saw your favorite position, if it wasn't wide receiver, would be outside linebacker, huh? Yeah, I like to uh, stick my, my head on things and like to hit, so uh, I definitely want to play outside backer. You get to hit a lot and, you know what I'm saying, free hitter a lot of the time, so I would love that. You mentioned Coach Yokaitis. He's a, a voice that knows both sides of the ball as a coach, but also as a player at the Naval Academy, just like you. Definitely. Um, Coach Yokaitis, uh, it's been a blessing to play for Coach Yokaitis. Uh, he's very uh, a very hard nosed, gritty guy. He keeps me very humble. Uh, he's been, he's a Naval Academy alum himself. So it's been, an, it's been a great time all four years to be able to learn from Coach Yo and um, just work under him. I, I love him. He's my, probably my favorite coach of all time. I would mean, imagine kind of cool too with a new head coach, you still have that familiar voice at your wide receiver coach. Definitely. Um, it was kind of, I was kind of nervous for a while when uh, I, know, I knew there was going to be a staff change. Uh, but hearing Coach Yo was going to be able to stay around for my last go round uh, kind of took a, you know what I'm saying, a load off my back. And uh, I could just relax from there with the change because I know he's a, a very familiar face, familiar voice for me. On a team of leaders, Kamari is a senior. What does it mean to you to be a leader of young players like you were coming up to the ranks? Uh, it means a lot. The Naval Academy is a leadership institution, so uh, it means a lot to be able to uh, put my skills that I've learned from the Naval Academy to use uh, for my last year here. Now, when you go out in the field uh, with the other seniors, do you think in the back of your head, boy, you know, that was our last home opener. I mean, you got to take advantage of every game because they're few and far between now for you. Uh, I kind of try not to think about that. I'm kind of just trying to bask in the uh, in the moment. And when the time is done and the, the time clicks off for my last game, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it. With the new offensive coordinator, Coach Chestnut, what is it about this offense that you like that he has brought to the table? Uh, Coach Chestnut brings a lot of variety to the offense. He window dresses. Um, we run a lot of the same plays in a lot of different ways. He'll window dress things to make it look a lot different. Uh, he throws defenses off. Um, it's been a lot of fun. He's kind of brought in a lot of new pass concepts for me as a receiver. Uh, that's been a lot of fun. I've, I've loved working under Coach Chestnut. Uh, he's a great coach, and I love his enthusiasm as well. And what's it like playing alongside Jaden Umbarger, a fellow senior at wide receiver as you two really put your stamp on this Navy football program. Um, Jaden Jaden's my best friend actually. A lot of people don't know. Um, Jaden was a quarterback before he was a receiver. So um, he threw my, t my first touchdown at the, the prep school. So for him to be my, uh, to play alongside him as a senior at receiver um, and see his journey from quarterback to receiver has been a lot of fun. And I've been his biggest fan along that journey. And what was that dynamic for you going from high school in Fayetteville, North Carolina, high school 71, and then going to the United States Naval Academy prep school before you came here? Uh, definitely a humbling experience. Um, back home at 71st, uh, Fayetteville is kind of a real gritty town. It's a uh, home of Fort Bragg, a military installation, the biggest in the country. So um, I'm really big on blue, uh, like blue collar hard work. And the Naval Academy is, is big on work. You won't survive if you don't work. But it's just I had to take my work to an extra level and uh, improve my work ethic and just uh, pay a lot more attention to the minor details. And I think so far it's paid off for me. And what has been your secret getting to your senior year and now moving through your senior year academically on the yard because there are a lot of demands for you not only for football but also for academics. Um, I think 
to get this, this far and to finish, you just have to be humble. You just have to understand where I like I can't do everything by myself. I need help. And a lot of the teachers will work with you. They understand that um, the time demands that come from football and just being a midshipman in general. And they're a lot they're willing to work with you a lot of the time. So I just been very humble when I need help and they work with me. Just communication is key. Also, we talked about the touchdown catch and the first reception before that on that same one minute drive, but also blocking. And I asked Coach uh, Newberry about your blocking and he says, man, it jumps off the screen. Um, yeah, here we, we're not here to catch a lot of passes. We're here to uh, get things going on the perimeter. So that's something I take pride in, just getting us going as an offense. Personally, I believe um, our blocking springs a lot of the plays, the big plays, explosive plays that we need. So um, I take a lot of pride and I work at it a lot and it's something that I enjoy doing. Um, I didn't do it much in high school, so it's something I had to learn. And I think I've got pretty good at it, if I say so myself. What's your favorite thing to do on the yard when you're not playing football? Favorite thing to do on the yard when I'm not playing football? Probably um, probably go get some food from Steerage. Steerage has a, a great customer service, great food, and they love the football team. So uh, either food at Steerage or bagels at uh, Nimitz in the library. The experience of going to school and playing alongside football with players and classmates from all over the United States must be really neat. Yes, definitely. Um, where I'm from, I don't really meet a lot of people from a lot of different places unless they're in the military. But um, so coming here, I get to meet people from I have we have a lot of teammates from Hawaii and New York and California, all across the country. Um, Lirion's from Kosovo. He's not even from the United States. So um, it's good to get to learn people's walks of life and be able to understand what they came from and get to uh, teach them about my like my city as well and just get to bounce ideas and just um, learn a lot about different people and use that for my leadership skills. Thanks a lot, Kamari. Yes, sir. Thank you. He's Kamari Williams, senior wide receiver for the midshipmen, and in just a few months, a future naval officer.